I'm Dana Griffin and this is your morning update for Sunday, February 27th. Hundreds of protesters rallied in support of Ukraine. It happened Saturday at Waterfront Park. They held signs that read hands of Ukraine and stop Putin. Many Ukrainians at the rally said they're fearful for the safety of their families back home. There will be another rally today at 1:30 in Balboa Park near the Museum of Art. Now to Tierra Santa, where a nine year old is recovering after being hit by a car. It happened on Patriot Street just after 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Police say a driver hit the boy after he ran between two parked cars and into the street. Investigators say he was treated for a leg injury and is expected to be OK. A junkyard fire burned multiple vehicles in Chula Vista. This happened yesterday afternoon on West Frontage Road. The fire department said it started with one vehicle before torching multiple trailers. The fire damaged five RVs and one cement truck. Fortunately, there were no injuries. Investigators are looking into what caused the fire. San Diego Unified is selecting its next superintendent and parents were able to ask the two finalist questions during a forum. The two finalists are Dr. Lamont Jackson, the district's interim superintendent, and Dr. Susan Enfield, superintendent for Highline Public Schools in Washington. Now, parents were able to submit questions. Both candidates provided their perspective on staffing curriculum, diversity, mental health training, and disciplinary policies. Parents were also asked to provide input after the forum. The Board of Education will make a final decision next month. Today, members of our armed forces will reunite with loved ones. Marines and sailors from the 11th Marine Expeditionary Unit completed their seven month deployment. The Black Sheep of Marine Attack Squadron are returning to Miramar and the Marine Medium Till Trotter Squadron are coming back to Camp Pendleton. We'll take a look at this video sent in by an NBC7 viewer. It shows another shark sighting yesterday afternoon off the coast of Del Mar. Now, if this has you a little concerned, shark attacks along the San Diego County coast are very rare. Experts we've spoken to say that sharks aren't looking for humans. They're trying to step or trying to stay away from larger predators. We will continue to bring you the latest news here at NBC7.com and on TV. You can also learn more on our podcast today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and those that are affecting our community. Stay safe. Have a nice day.